Well, Vanham Haven um, is a, a, a town located on an island off the coast of uh, Rockland, Maine. Uh, Vanham Haven is about 1,200 people year-round and about 4,200 in the summer. Well, we're on an island that is 12 and a half miles out to sea uh, with no land bridge. So our options for getting a patient to definitive care are to use a uh, fixed wing airplane, uh, flies to the mainland, meet another ambulance service, takes the patient to the hospital, uh, or life flight if the situation warrants it, um, or our main state ferry service. We use the ferry which is an hour and a half um, trip and then another 20 minutes to the hospital. So it's a long way. Uh, as a geographically isolated uh, location, uh, practice of medicine uh, really kind of changes uh, in the way that we're able to do things. We become much more adept at clinical problem solving. Uh, and because we're in an island location, um, we take care of the emergencies that arise whenever that happens. Uh, so our, our uh, medical providers are really called upon to, to go above and beyond uh, what their role would be um, over on the mainland. Being a small service, not un un unique to any other, that um, you know, a call volume isn't that high, so we don't get to experience a lot of, a lot of different types of runs. All when we have to make those challenging calls, you know, it's, it's very imperative that we're at the top of our game, so you know, training is a huge, huge part of that. This idea came up about a year ago out here on Vinyl Haven. Um, uh, in addition to being the medical director here, I'm also the director, uh, medical director of the EMS service. Uh, and uh, I had uh, heard uh, uh, several times that there was some, some communication stuff going on between uh, team members and providers uh, that um, we could probably improve on. Uh, what we ended up doing was to, to bring a simulator out last year and, and to start that process. Uh, we were so successful uh, that there was no question that we were coming back this year. Uh, and this year we've actually been able to take it uh, a lot further along the line and uh, become much more sophisticated in uh, the simulations we have run. Simulation in situ is when you use high fidelity simulation um, in the learner's natural environment. So in this case at Vinyl Haven, because we were working with emergency medical personnel as well as the island, island medical staff, we brought the simulators to the island for them to be able to practice their skills and their communication. I think it's a great program. I think it's, um, we utilized it last year and this is the second year into it. So it's, it's good to see year to year how this has changed a little bit um, and kind of what we're trying to focus on and I think what the uh, presenters of the program are focusing on. I think one of the best parts about the SimMan is um, that we are doing some very concentrated training in a few days. So one of the things we have to do to fulfill our requirements for recertifications are uh, we have trainings every month. We've made them longer because we have to have increased hours. But it's hard to pull together this kind of lifelike um, scenario that we've been running. And I think they're very, very helpful to us. What we've been able to do with this round of them is that different um, EMTs have been taking the lead at different, on different calls. So even if they're not in their comfort zone, it's a practice to do this without it being a real person and hopefully build some confidence for when they are the only person that responds or they're the lead person for some other situation. The big advantage of having um, professionals do their simulation in situ, again, is that they're working with their own equipment, they're working with their own processes, as well as their own um, resources. One of the things, in addition to making their skills um, sharper is that they're able to look at the processes of how they deal with um, patients in emergencies and be able to see do those processes work? Is there equipment that needs to um, be changed or revised or replaced um, for the emergencies that they um, might encounter? I think University of New England really does want to be the medical school for Maine. Part of what that means is that we, we use our resources uh, to benefit folks in the state. Our focus is increasingly on rural medicine and uh, how to improve rural practice. And uh, this is a great tool to take out there. Um, it's a great thing that we can provide. We're really fortunate to be able to, to do this and to do it uh, in a way that's as, as challenging and sophisticated as it really is.